this is such a gorgeous piece. It's, it's almost like a mini Monet. Animation is a modern art form. It's much more than just the film that you see on the screen. The Walt Disney Animation Research Library was actually started by Walt Disney. It housed all of the animation art that came off of the films. So once a film wrapped, all the artwork, the concept drawings, the rough animation, the cleanup animation, the backgrounds, the animation cells, they all went to this location. And Walt called that location the morgue. Our collection is well over a hundred million pieces, going all the way back to Steamboat Willie and all the way forward to our latest film, Moana. This piece from Peter Pan is a really great example of the challenges we're facing in our collection. Isn't this just so sad? The cells degrade naturally by the nature of the material that they're made of. And that can be exacerbated by different environmental conditions. They're going to start to shrink a little depending upon the temperature and humidity. And they're going to start to have ripples, kind of think about it like an ocean, waves. If a bit of paint pops off, we will save that because our hope is that that material can be reattached. If you had a bit of paint from a Monet painting, let's say, wouldn't you save it? Yes, you would. So the Getty Conservation Institute was approached by Kristen McCormick some years ago to see if we'd be interested in um, studying the animation cell collection. The GCI has been interested in studying and preserving a range of cultural heritage from the present time animation cells, Jackson Pollock to Tomb of Nefertari in Egypt, going all the way back to the Liatoli hominid trail that's millions of years old. But looking at the materials of the Disney animation cells, it's really plastic sheets. They degrade in a chemical process called hydrolysis and it slowly forms vinegar. You can smell that in the storage boxes and the vaults at the ARL. If enough hydrolysis happens, if enough vinegar is produced, the flat sheets start to warp and buckle. The paints themselves were actually handmade at the Disney Studios. Paint formulators had to develop a paint that would perform even in hot, dry conditions. And so they added chemicals to the paints that absorb moisture from the air. So if the humidity is raised to just the right level, the paint will actually reattach to the plastic sheet. Sometimes during the storage of the cells, the paint translated, kind of moved to another location on the plastic sheet. But again, when the conditions of humidity are right, the paint could actually be lifted with a small spatula and replaced to the original position on the cells. What you saw from the Aristocats was done in that way. I've watched these movies with my children, and to see the cells is really moving. I went to a screening of Sleeping Beauty, and I had just earlier that day been in one of our vaults and looked at some of the original backgrounds we had. And then I saw this restored film up on the big screen, and I got it. it everything changed. Like, I suddenly saw the film not as I had seen it as a child, but I saw it as this beautiful piece of artwork. I'm always seeing something new each day and always astounded by the beauty of the pieces.